Good morning, guys. On Tuesday, we learned all about the Midwest state names. Yesterday, that was your assignment to fill those in. Now we're going to talk about the capital cities. And just so you remember, the region in our country we're talking about is these states right here. Again, we talked about this yesterday. Straight line, straight line, straight line, squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. <laughs> and you see that when you can see a lot of the uh, uh, state shades up close. You can tell the borders that were set by the U.S. government, okay, uh, and and the uh, borders that were set by rivers, or or there was the edge of their state is by the rivers. What I mean by set by the U.S. government is a lot of times, and again we'll talk about this more on Thursday, is they set the different land for the uh, states. Um, a lot of these straight lines, not all, but a lot of these you can tell kind of follow a different line of of uh well latitude and longitude as you can see here but at any rate uh let's get into the capital cities uh this is a map that shows the exact capital cities and the locations of each of the states we have uh columbus ohio and indianapolis indiana madison wisconsin uh maybe you never heard of these cities bismarck north dakota pierre south dakota lincoln nebraska topeka kansas um Maybe these cities are not ones you've heard of. Now, remember when we talked about different things like the the uh, Northeast, the New England states, and the Southeast? A lot of those cities we might have heard of aren't always the capital cities, right? Now, yes, we had Boston, Massachusetts, and Atlanta, Georgia. Those are the capital cities of those states. But big cities like the biggest one, New York City, it's not the capital city of New York. Albany is, right? Miami, Florida, Tampa Bay, Florida, Orlando, Florida. None of those are the capital cities of Florida. It's Tallahassee. So please don't think that if there's big cities that you've heard of in these states that they're automatically the capital city. In fact, it's generally not the case. Uh, the capital city of the states, remember, is where the state government takes place. And yes, these are different cities that the state chooses to represent the state, right? This is why you're learning this in you know third grade all across the nation. You learn about the state capitals, and that might be one of the first cities you think of when you think of the state. However, this is where again the state government takes place. This is where uh, when your mommy or daddy or, or or cousins that are 18 years or older go and vote for your state representatives, state senators, House of Representatives. They meet a lot of times in the Capitol building in these capital cities, but a lot of them, a lot of them also go to Washington, D.C. to represent our state and vote on what we call federal laws or laws that govern the entire nation. We have certain things like that, but there's also certain things that are different from state to state. It happens in these capital cities. For instance, uh, I grew up in Illinois, and I went to high school in Wisconsin. Those states had different things like, well, different speed limits. Those are set by the states. Each state sets their different speed limits. There's also different uh, things to deal with, uh, well, like hunting. They had different hunting seasons. They had different hunting ages they had different recommendate not recommendations uh, uh things you had to do before you could actually go out and hunt whether that be uh buying a license or going through a certain you know trainer course before you could do that those are different things that are set by the state you wouldn't have the same hunting laws in in wisconsin as you would in arizona those are set by the state uh, so that's what happens in the capital cities now this map please don't get confused these are the capital cities, and this is a map of some of the bigger cities. I'm gonna, I hope I'm not making you dizzy by going back and forth, but as you can see, uh, a lot of these cities that are the capital cities are not whoops, in this map where there is uh, bigger cities. A lot of these bigger cities are cities that you may have heard of, uh, because they're huge. I mean, there's millions of people in these cities. And if you like sports, this is where a lot of the sports teams are. We have the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, we have the 
the uh, Cleveland Browns for football, the Detroit Pistons for basketball, uh, the Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bears, Chicago Cubs, Chicago White Sox, the Milwaukee Brewers, uh, Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl, St. Louis Cardinals, uh, different things like that. Now, here's kind of a, a neat one. We had the Minneapolis and St. Paul. Those are two different cities, and if you notice, St. Paul is the capital city, but these are called the Twin Cities. It's, it's kind of like Tempe and Phoenix, where they're both big cities. Of course, Phoenix is much bigger, but they're right next to each other. I mean, unless there was a sign on the highway, you'd have no idea where the difference between Tempe and, and Phoenix is, right? Well, these cities were two separate cities, and they grew so big, they kind of grew into one another. And so that's why they called the Twin Cities. And that's why the baseball team here is called the Minnesota Twins, uh, kind of representing the Twin City there, right? So again... Please don't think all these big cities are capital cities because they're clearly not. Now, yes, we have Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay, we have St. Paul, Minnesota. Those big cities are indeed uh, the capital cities. But for the most part, that's not the city they choose to represent the state and have their state government in. Uh, but as we continue going through these states, you're going to notice quite a common theme and don't forget about these guys here over here you're going to see a very common theme and that is there are some big cities milwaukee detroit cleveland minneapolis kansas city st louis chicago big big cities but also lots and lots and lots of farmland lots of farmland uh, you can see here nice flat land great for corn great for wheat all those different things in fact most of the corn or most of the cereals and things that you eat that are made from wheat and bread comes from this area uh, <clears throat> let's go back here i grew up in a in a city called moline illinois and i went to high school in a, in a city called watertown wisconsin that was about, and we went on the interstate right here, and then we started going north on, on this interstate here. Uh, that was about a three-hour drive. And so we we hit Watertown, Wisconsin. If I'm going home for, like, Christmas break, I go and I I drive through small towns, but it's mostly all farm fields. Oh, where's my cursor? There we go. Here's my cursor. Follow my cursor down. This is the trip I take all the time. And I go through farm field, farm field, farm field. And then I hit a city called Rockford, Illinois. Bigger city, not huge, but bigger city, about the size of like Tempe. And then I'd start going west. Farm, 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 farm. Boom. Moline, Illinois, where I grew up, which is, again, about the size of Mesa. So that's a lot of the Midwest. You're going from city to city but everywhere in between is going to be these farm fields and it just nice flat land which is really 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 great for farming and for different things like cattle and uh and grazing and such now this map that i'm going to show you here might might help see that uh let me understand what we're looking help you understand what we're looking at the dark dark red part those are the different counties with a uh, big population meaning lots and lots of people uh i always thought it was kind of funny when again i grew up here and oh, here's my county this is rock island county where i grew up see it's the guy a little bit of red uh uh so i grew up in illinois i grew up in wisconsin all these different little boxes or things those are counties so again we have the federal government the u.s government in washington dc then we have the state government which is, you know, in the capital cities that help make laws for the entire state. But then it's also divided up into counties. The reason being is because uh, this red box here, this is Madison. Remember, that's a capital city. And if you lived way up here in northern Wisconsin, this is like a six-hour drive. So instead of having going to the state courthouse, we have different things like county courthouses. And so if you're in this county... You don't have to drive all the way down here. You can go to your county and they can help make certain laws for just that county. But they also are there to make sure that those counties are following the state laws. So if you think a little bit closer to home, we have the Gila County Courthouse and Globe, right? 
a lot of times you go there for different uh, things like uh, dealing with the court or, or dealing with laws, but they uphold the state laws. Uh, it's kind of weird here. Weird is that the right? It's kind of different here in the reservation because we got this river going right through on the bridge by Bashers, right? And so if you live on the other side of that wash, you're actually in Graham County. And there, you have to go to Safford. But if you live here where, where the mission school is, you're in Gila County, and you go to Globe for things like that. So uh, you can see here, uh, there's, I mean, I think Illinois has, if, if you want to count them up, go ahead. But I think they had 50, 50 counties. And uh, the state of Arizona has 15. <laughs> Arizona is a much bigger state, but far less counties. And, and part of that is because you got Phoenix with a huge population, Tucson with a huge population, and then not a lot of other big cities in the rest of Arizona. So uh, sorry to go off on a little tangent there, but looking at this map, remember, the dark, dark red means a lot of people. The white means not a lot of people, not a lot of population. You can tell very easily here where we have Minneapolis, St. Paul, and all its different suburbs. And look, we have Green Bay, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Chicago, Illinois, Gary, Indiana. We have different cities here like Grand Rapids, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, uh, Toledo, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Indianapolis, Indiana, so on and so forth. Look down here. You can just tell exactly where those big cities are. St. Louis, Missouri, Kansas City, which which is kind of funny because Kansas City is partly in Kansas and partly in Missouri. But, uh, in fact, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. They're called Kansas City, but did you know that their stadium is actually in Missouri? <laughs> kind of weird. Kansas City, Missouri? Wait, shouldn't it be Missouri's? Anyways, uh, beside the point, but Kansas City grew so big it actually is in two different states. But... Uh, my point here is big, big cities and lots and lots of farmland in between. Lots of farmland. Let's kind of retrace my steps again. Here's where I grew up in Moline, Illinois. I go out of the city, lots and lots of farmland. I start going north here and I get to Watertown, which is kind of in between uh, Madison and Milwaukee. But a lot of this area here is all that farmland. Take a look at Iowa. Uh, Lots of farmland. They start especially getting into northern Missouri and, and Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota. Tons and tons of farmland. Um, and, and believe it or not, in, in Michigan is where they have Kellogg. You've heard of Kellogg cereal? Well, all these different farmers will sell their wheat to the Kellogg's plant, and that's how they help make cereal, and they ship it all over the world. Uh, here's another example to kind of show you. Uh, kind of going these big spikes here. See these huge spikes? Those are big cities. Can you see here's Phoenix, right? Tucson, Los Angeles, big spike. Uh, take a look here too. Look at this. New York pff, goes even off the map. That's the biggest city in our country. Chicago, huge. But these big spikes again are big cities. And everywhere in between especially if you start looking at these North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, all the farmland. I, I'm not trying to beat that fact to death. I'm just trying to get you to understand how important this land is, not only to our country, but also to the world because there's so much good flat farmland that literally this area can feed the whole country and a lot of the world because there's so much corn and there's so much wheat that is being grown here. Uh, it's a really cool thing. Uh, I, I know I already showed you these pictures here, but this is a lot of what you see, this, this, this flat farmland. They have the extreme weathers and great, great rivers. Uh, but this is what I'm going to ask you to do. You can see here, yes, we have the state abbreviations. ND stands for North Dakota. SD South Dakota, IA Iowa, IL Illinois. I think you guys can figure that out. But your job is to do two things. Number one, write in the correct capital city on the states. And, and this is your assignment uh, on 
today, but I mean getting ready for the test on Friday. So, so really take a look at pages R6 and R7. But you also, I want you to put a little star where the state capital city is actually located. So don't just throw in the names. Uh, that'll help you for Friday, but I want you to actually put it in, in the correct spot. So like uh, Springfield, I know that's Illinois. If you look at the map, Springfield is indicated with the star on the page R6 and R7, and that goes right here. Don't get confused with Minnesota because it's going to Minneapolis and St. Paul are right next to each other. Remember, it's St. Paul, St. Paul that is the capital city that is right here. Anyways, here's your assignment for today, guys. I do want to wish you Lord's blessings and your praise your Savior.